Oh, it's definitely not a safe iron. Oh, no, it's absolutely not a safe iron. You are correct. Morning. <laughs> what the fuck? I had to unplug the uh, coffee maker yesterday because it was boiling water and spitting it everywhere. But not really? Actually. Yeah, but not actually making the coffee. Ooh. <laughs> I have been chosen. Did you get it here? Come on. I was looking for a down that way. What number? Really? Uh, four, four thousand twenty. Really? Yeah. Hi. Squirrel. Squirrel. Put it in here because I'm surprised. Sorry, artists aren't kind of mad about it. Yeah, well, just because the bubbles on people's um, art. Yeah. I'm gonna pop it. I'm gonna pop. It. Oh, you're in. The oh, game. it's a balloon. Wow. I don't know why I thought it was plastic. I thought it was plastic too. Is so much bubbles. Goodness. Teamwork. <laughs> Everywhere. So we have to wait in here until he fills up. Well, he the zipped balloon. it, so now we can go. Boy said wait until he fills it up. No, I he think. said wait until it's zipped up. Ah, oh, okay. I think. <laughs> Oh, I see. There we go. Okay. He's gonna take our picture. Wait, wait. here, where should I put the camera? Ah! <laughs> and wait, so I'm just like looking at all the people that. <laughs> this is where I live now. I am a bubble. Stepped on. Ah! <laughs> 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 ah! This footage is going to be so chaotic. But <laughs> <laughs> they're like, get out. <laughs> We die like slime. This is definitely what astronauts are like, right? Definitely. No, ah! Look at this stupid photo. I love it. Okay, you ready? Let's go. This is just the food area. Oh my god. 
That takoyaki is so strong smelling. It's good if you like octopus. Excuse us, sorry. The porn star angle is back. What is glaring in my glass? There we go. Hello. We are back at the hotel. It's still early-ish. Like, I also took the makeup off my forehead because I had all the blue eyebrows and we went out to dinner. Um, we went to a hotel down the street which had those glass elevators, which was cool. <sighs> Sari and I are exhausted to the point where we were just like, we don't even want to be in cosplay. We're just tired because to us, our cons are three days. Um, there's very few four day cons that we attend. Um, and if it is a four day, Thursday is like a half day usually. So we've had so far three full days of con in which we cosplayed at all of them. And we're very tired. Mm -hmm. And we also worked all of them. Mm -hmm. um, like so many people are heading out to AX to like go party and shit. And we like walk past them like, ha, we're gonna go to sleep. <laughs> Cause we have another full day tomorrow. Um, but we have the opening shift. We're gonna try and go early to get a birthday gift for Ruth, who is the owner, or one of the owners of the Five Wits, because it was her birthday, and she's been very nice to us. And then we have to be on the opening shift, and then we are gonna be at the con, and then we have to do loadout. Does the con, what time does the con end? But like all we're probably gonna do is do more shopping. Because we still haven't seen all of the dealer's room. It's a lot. It's a lot of dealers. It's a lot. Also, I just smudged my eyeliner everywhere. But um, as we were walking back from dinner, there was a hot Leon from... what? What's Leon from? Resident Evil. Resident Evil. He was very hot. He was. And so we were. I was like... Well, first I was making fun of Sari completely because she thought he was hot. And I was like, ha You single. And then... I was like, hey, I like your costume. I didn't even say cosplay because I'm a fucking moron. <laughs> so I was like, hey, I like your costume. And we were like giggling because we're five. Listen, I was not mentally prepared to flirt with men at that point. Well, you didn't talk to him at that point. No, I was not prepared. <laughs> we tried to push her to talk to him, but she wouldn't. But anyway, we like... Regrets. He was very cute. He was very cute. So... Uh, we think we part ways with Leon. We're like joking and laughing about how like we would- We go left, he goes right. We go left, he goes right. And we're, we're joking about how like if we talked to him, we'd be like, so what are you dressed up for? An anime convention? Oh my God, Sarah, isn't that what you like? Oh, you have so much in common. And we were just making fun of each other because we, some of us had, one of them had um, like a Captain America backpack and like Sari had a, PlayStation controller purse and stuff like that. So like just making really fun of. Pretty obvious. That pretty we obvious were. that we we knew what Anime Expo was. Um, so out of nowhere we just hear RPG out of the way or RPG coming through, and we turn and Leon <laughs> zooms past us on one of the rent -a scooters. <laughs> too good. And we just start laughing and giggling, and he's like looking back over his shoulder, like ha ha, like I made those ladies laugh. And we're still fucking laughing and we were just like, I wonder if he knows we were just talking about him this whole time. Probably We did. were like, probably. He probably heard all of that. So. Leon Cosplayer, I love you. That's aggressive. But Leon <laughs> Cosplayer, if it's you, let me know. We'll set you up with my friend. <laughs> we'll get you on a vlog. Isn't that like <laughs> the life goal? You know, a shitty vlog? Am I on you? Uh, there you are. Hi. Hi. Hi, internet. Hi. Life goals accomplished. On blog. There's blue all over my face. I need to sleep. You okay there? I'm so tired. <laughs> it's fair. It's not that early. It's almost 10. That was pretty early for us at cons. This is true. Especially Saturday night. Ugh. Here's the thing. Anime Expo has some really cool like 18 plus events and stuff. And we were like, hell yeah, let's go see the burlesque. Like, that sounds fucking rad. It's an LA burlesque show. 
to do all that stuff, you have to pay extra. All the fun stuff. All the you have fun to pay stuff. Extra. You have to pay extra, and it's not like five dollars extra. It's thirty dollars a person. The Maid Cafe and Butler Cafe, you have to pay extra too. The Maid Cafe and Butler Cafe are twenty dollars a person during the day. And they don't and then, even feed you. And they don't even feed you like a meal. It's just like like I think you get like a snack. And then they have after hours maid cafe and butler cafe, which I guess the maid cafe is them in bunny outfits and the butler cafe is, is your servers like shirtless with a vest on instead of like with a shirt. And it's like scandalous, like the games and stuff they do. But then it's thirty dollars a person and like I ain't paying thirty dollars to get a like really awkward butler cafe. Like, let's be real. It's not even like it's in like at least Katsukon, it's in like a dining hall. Like this is just in a room with like tables. <laughs> like it's not, even, I mean, I guess that is what a dining hall is, but you know what I mean. Like. Quartered off. Yeah, like it's quartered off, but it's just not, it's just like big circular tables and you can see everyone and it's just like, bah. No. Bah. Bah. And then like, like we said, we wanted to do the burlesque, we had to pay $30 per person. Man, I ain't paying $30 for- I don't know if for, it's gonna be any good. We have no idea if it's gonna be any good. Um, there was a Digimon panel I was semi-interested in, but we missed it and I'm fine with it because I don't want to wait eight hours in line. No, preferably not. Yep. Um, there's been news reports all day saying there's supposed to be another earthquake, which I'm hoping it waits until after we leave. We will see. <laughs> I mean, I hope it doesn't happen at all. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I hope it doesn't happen. No, just, just wait until we go home. Like, I hope it doesn't happen at all, obviously. But I hope it waits until we leave so that A, we don't have to be freaked out, and B, I really don't want it to mess up our Monday plans or our flights. Yeah, that would suck. I would like to be able to get home to the good old East Coast. Yeah, I would really like to be able to get home. I think I've had my fill of LA. Um, we have a tour on Monday of Paramount Studios. I probably won't be able to film, but to be fair, I'll probably be too busy geeking out to film anyway, but. Okay, this um, section is getting too long, so I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna wash my face. I'm gonna go sleep. That's it, that's all I got. Night. Good night. This is the, still the porn star angle. Night. $30, please, <laughs> for your after dark fox. Ugh. Gross. Gross. <laughs> I forget everything I just vlogged. It's Good fine. Night. <laughs> it's, it's fine. Like, it's fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. Goodbye. Uh. Bye. <laughs> you bought the pinkest drink. It's gross too. I got coffee. I got the dragon drink. It's not the pink drink. Um, it's morning and we're eating. And then we're gonna go to the con. Be quiet minutes before chaos. Yeah, probably the only time we're gonna have a real seat today. Just wanted to show how Uraraka buys the only pink, disgusting drink. It's delicious. It's not. It's really good. It's awful. It's it tastes wonderful. like medicine. No, it does. Goodbye. It's dragon fruit. There is a booth that has like a dog displaying all their stuff. Maybe someone just has a bird. Probably so. Oh, everybody's the <laughs> There's a falcon inside. He's eating something. That's wild. the dealer's hall. <laughs> They've had live performers this weekend too. It's kind of wild.
crowded we've seen this place. Yeah. Like all weekend. Can actually see the booths. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Two hours later. All of the booths are getting taken down. The poor falcon's nest is probably still up there. <laughs> Crazy to be on this side. No more wigs. They're all here, color-coded. Jess, hi. 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 Poser. Bah. Bah. And this is Anime Expo after hours. Literally like an hour or two after hours. We didn't have, yeah, it's like two hours oh, after. Quick. Everything's so already gone. I'm amazed how quick everything gets torn down. Just a hanging, I don't even know what that is, neck? Video thing? Pokemon. I don't know. I don't remember. We've been here all weekend we walked by like 30 times and we never really <laughs> Look, Anime Expo merch, which we also did not look at. Oh, we could have gotten a Naruto poster. Naruto skateboard. Oh, yeah, Sasuke sold out. Oh, sh I would have actually really liked that. Oh, yeah, you used to skateboard, didn't you? I did a long time ago. Oh my god, Naruto was the theme this year? Fuck, I would have bought that. Shit! I like this. Look! That's cute. It's a Naruto water bottle. What's the pops? Oh, that's for your phone. That's yeah. cute. Shit, I would have bought some of this. What's this? Made Cafe Chime. That's kind of cute. I like that. I would have loved this because it's anime, like our first anime expo and it's Naruto themed. Damn it. I wish we could just be like, hey, they can you sell us some AX merch? Can you sell us your AX merch two hours after? Because I want it now. Maybe they'll have it online. Yeah. Wow, this is wild to me. There's no one here. Like, there's no one here. Bye. Yeah, people abandon ship real fast. Oh, we don't even have to scan out anymore. Nope. There will be no more scanning. You ready to call an Uber? We don't even have to leave to call an Uber. No. There's no endless crowds anywhere. Here. Yeah. Film whatever you want. The emptiness and despair post convention. Whoa. At least the Uber won't have any trouble finding us, considering how bright you are. <laughs> that is how I wrote on earlier this morning. I was like, they were like, how do we find you? Sure, me on orange. There you go. You can't get mad at me. You did this to yourself. I did. <laughs> I actively chose this. Gosh, wow. there's so much. I don't think I talked about someone walked behind the booth today to like show off their squishy for whatever reason, like their their squish toy. And um, they came up and after I like squished it, like whatever, and I was like, oh, this is great. And they, showed, they told us where to buy it, whatever. I wasn't gonna buy it. They walked into our booth and grabbed my face with their hands and like squished my wig and my cheeks and was like, stop being so angry all the time, Bakugo. Yeah, I turned around and I saw that. I was like, oh, they seem to be very familiar with you. I'm sorry I didn't step in. I thought you knew no, them. No, I thought they knew Lorelei because Lo they were speaking to Lorelei that way too. And Lorelei was like, I have no idea who that is. And I was like, cool. Cool, some, some random person stuck their hands on the face. I need a shower. We're at a handmade udon place. How cool is that? It's really cool. That looks exhausting. Magic. Wow. Wow. 
I mean, you can bring back some of this out. Mm. Yeah, we could. Yeah. Do we have a Monica? No. Do you have a fridge? No. You have to eat it tonight. Yeah, that's true. You want some of my seaweed? Oh, yeah, you hate seaweed. I do. Yeah, I do want it. I'm going to eat this. Excuse me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What is happening? Jesus, it's the perfect ending to LA, huh? Holy shit. Hi. What did he just say? It'll ricochet? It'll ricochet and get you. Great. So, holy shit. What just happened? Um, basically, the cops just pulled in really, really fast and body tackled some guy against the doors. And uh, he fought back for a long time and now they're dragging him off. Okay. So we don't really know exactly what happened, but... He just showed up out of nowhere? Yeah. Just like screeched in. Screeched in, yeah. Where, where was he just standing there? I don't know. No, I think he ran in here. Yeah, he was running. Oh, okay. I think he tried to get in, obviously. But, it. Jesus. Okay. okay. Hello, I am leaning over the floor, because I am. Um, this is the After Con review for Anime Expo. Uh, yeah, it ended a little wild there, and it was a little bit crazy for us, but um, overall, I thought Anime Expo was really cool. It's not really my type of convention. Um, I like conventions to be just, like, in that nice and breezy section of um a comic con and a reg like a, a nobody con <laughs> i don't know if that makes sense but like a hotel con and like a comic con um this was definitely on the gigantic comic con level um which tends to get a little tight for me i tend to feel a little like oh my god there's so many people here ah uh, um we did have some really nice breaks though um with the rooftop party and all the things we got to do so you know um, and I've mentioned it before, but I really love working booths at conventions. I think it's really fun. So, yeah. Basically, if we were invited back to work at MA Expo again, I would go in a heartbeat. Um, the dealer's room was incredible. I could spend my entire life there and probably still find things to buy. Um, my poor wallet was sad, but I was very happy. Um, I had a great time traveling with Sari Hind uh, yeah, if I were to do it again, I would just kind of stay the same with simple costumes, um, nothing crazy, probably find ways to hang out with people better, just because of the busyness of the con, it was really hard to, like, hang out with people that came out to say hi, but otherwise, yeah, it's a good time, um, we really enjoyed getting to see the different stuff around, uh, we were there for an extra day, and we went and saw Paramount Studios, and, 
Got really good food. I don't know. Yeah. I have always said that I wanted to travel farther for cons, especially cons that I can work at or get invited to. So it's a little easier on my wallet. And this was a good first travel, I guess. Um, I enjoyed it. I would recommend it if you enjoy big comic cons. Um, they had a little bit of structure issue with the dealer's hall, getting everyone in and ready. Um, I don't know how the regular line was, but I don't think I would enjoy it. So, but if you really like comic cons and exclusives and getting merch that isn't for sale anywhere else, that is the place to go. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just, if it's your type of con, it's your type of con. It was fun for what it was. Uh, probably wouldn't be my first choice if it was local, but I would still probably go. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. Anyways, um, yeah. <laughs> As always, guys, my name is Fox. I'm leaning on the floor, so this is going to look weird. But thank you in advance for liking, commenting, subscribing, um, checking out my merch, uh, being patient while I get back into uploading. <laughs> and yeah. As always, guys, I love you all very, very, very much, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye, guys.